We have three ways that we're going to deal with a meningioma. The first is perhaps do nothing. If you have a lesion that is not producing symptoms in an elderly person, you may very well just leave it alone. If you do choose to treat a meningioma, we have essentially two options. We can either surgically remove that meningioma or we can treat it with radiation. And uh, most commonly that radiation is going to take the form of what we call stereotactic radiosurgery, where we're trying to deliver radiation just to the tumor in a single dose uh, and try to spare all the surrounding structures. One of the better known uh, devices and one that's been around for a very long time is the gamma knife. And it uses 192 cobalt sources to create uh, 192 beams that are focused at one point in space that allow us to accurately deliver radiation inside the skull. When I uh, have to make the uh, recommendation between surgery and stereotactic radiosurgery with a device such as the Gamma Knife, I'm looking at a number of things. I'm looking at the size of the tumor, I'm looking at the location of the tumor, I'm looking at the age and health of the patient, and ultimately what I'm trying to do is pick the treatment that is going to be the safest and most effective treatment for that particular individual. Very small, deep-seated lesions are in general more easily treated with radiation than larger superficial lesions. We have sort of generalities like that. But again, it really uh, involves a very detailed analysis of that particular individual and their tumor. When considering just the tumor characteristics, uh, we're tending to look at the smaller tumors and the ones that are located in areas that are difficult to reach surgically. Uh, they're going to be the ones that we're going to be more likely to treat with stereotactic radiosurgery than with open resection. Typically, the uh, time spent in the hospital is much shorter. It's an outpatient procedure. You may only be in the hospital for four or five hours. The recovery is typically shorter. Uh, by the next day, you may be feeling pretty good, able to do most of your normal activities. And so, in general, recovery is much, much faster with the Gamma Knife. When a person's faced with a problem such as a meningioma and they have to choose a neurosurgeon, probably the most important thing they should consider is uh, working with someone who has familiarity with the different treatment modalities. There are many people who tend to do one thing or another and finding someone who has expertise in both uh, treatment modalities for meningioma or for many, many problems in neurosurgery, this comes up frequently, that will have two radically different ways to do something. 